Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we're checking out the more costumes and vanities mod, which by the name of the mod, you can tell that it adds in more costumes and vanities. I know it's insane. But yeah, I'll go ahead and just quickly shuffle through these chests here just to give you guys a nice taste before we hop into details. But yeah, now that we got a little taste, let's go ahead, let's get a full bite. In this first chest, I got a bunch of masks in here that don't exactly come with a whole entire outfit. They're just masks, at least from what I can tell. So let's go ahead let's check them out starting with our first mask here the melster mask no idea what this is uh it looks like sonic low key moving on to the next mask we got the plague doctor mask which is from scp and also obviously from plague doctors back in what the black plague i don't know something like that i have to clarify that because when i say scp people are gonna be like game readers scp what you mean there was plague doctor mask before scp you know how it is with people but yeah that's a cool mask looks just like the lunatic cultist moving on to our next mask slash wig here we got shaggy's wig yeah that it looks like shaggy to me maybe i need a better outfit though there we go we kind of look like shaggy a little bit now i feel like the wig can be a little bit more shaggy like you know what i'm saying a little bit more puffy and messy something like that the next mask we're gonna check out is the star lord mask which is obviously star lord from guardians of the galaxy and marvel and uh you know it's really hard to tell without the whole entire outfit on and obviously the peter quill hair but you know this not too bad next up after that we're getting into the cooler mask the azathoth mask i really do like the lovecraftian theme in terraria and i hope that they add in more lovecraftian things they kind of are in 1.4 that like blood nautilus or whatever is pretty lovecraftian I, I just i just think lovecraftian stuff is really cool you know cthulhu and all of that so this is a nice mask same thing with this mask right here the shub I do not want to say that word. I'm not saying that word. That's another Lovecraftian type mask. Moving on to, of course, the final mask here, the Mask of Cthulhu. Doesn't Vanilla Terraria have a Mask of Cthulhu? Let me check. It has the Moon Lord mask, as you can see here. Very, very similar, obviously, because the Moon Lord is pretty much Cthulhu. What was it? The Moon Lord is the brother of Cthulhu, something like that. All right, we're going to take a little detour from the costume part of the mod, and we're going to check out some of the weapons that this mod adds in. Now, all these weapons are from from an anime or manga what was it yeah it's an anime and a manga known as the seven deadly sins never seen it myself but this mod does have a lot of references to the seven deadly sins anime and manga so i'm assuming the mod creator is a big fan of it so let's go ahead let's check out these weapons starting with this one the holy staff corchos something like that okay so it's like an arcalis makes saw noises very interesting combo we got a dummy here so we could test out the damages a little bit next up we got the spirit spear chesty full whatever that means it's a spear i'm not seeing much about spirits next up we got the dragon handle which is a material it's pretty much a short sword you can turn this into a copper short sword or turn a copper short sword into this so that's why it's a material next up we got the warhammer of gideon or warhammer gideon which this also is just a hammer it's a pretty long hammer next up we got demon sword lost vein and then we got last but not least divine axe of Rita. And uh, it's a little bigger than usual because there's a reforge on it that makes it bigger. But yeah, cool. Bunch of nice weapons there. You can craft them, do whatever you want with them. Most of them are tools, actually. Okay, maybe not most of them, but some of them are tools. And last but not least, for this chest, we're going to check out some SCP items. Which these are very cool. Look, wait, it's only when you blink. All right, I blinked. I didn't die. Do you think if I get a mod that allows me to blink, this thing will kill me? I don't know. This is really cool, though. I like this a lot. Can I stack them on top of each other? No? All right. And then we got a Cacthulhu. Which is Cthulhu, but it's a cactus. Not seeing too much here, though. <laughs> and last but not least, we got Perfect Sphere. These are all uh, SCPs, too, by the way. They all got numbers. For example, the sculpture right here, this is 173. The Cacthulhu is SCP-3388. And then Perfect Sphere, which you can only place all their background items, okay, or their decorations. Uh, SCP-1137. So you can see here, when you break the Perfect Sphere, there's a little, little cool effect that happens. I like that. All right, we're going to go into this chest right here not the second chest we're saving the second chest which is the minecraft one and the fourth chest which is the marvel one we're gonna save those two for last because those are the coolest so let's go over the stuff in this chest we're gonna start with the one punch man outfit here and uh, it comes with a cape and everything and it's pretty cool i feel like the the saturation is a little bit low this looks 
extremely like grayed out but it's still really cool you could be the boy you could be the guy that punches things once i don't know how to pronounce his name next up you could be harry potter now, i don't really look like harry potter with this outfit but this is the hogwarts robe and harry potter glasses boom bada bing if you ever wanted to role play as a wizard there you go all right i think everything else from this point on is uh seven deadly sins so let's go ahead let's check it out boom starting with this we got the pump vanity slash costume and it uh, looks pretty cool next up we got the demon king whole entire set here it even comes with wings next up we got the bellion stuff i think that's how you say it bellion or belion like i said i don't know what any of this is after that we got the gary reed damn looking kind of cute though i'm not gonna lie after that we got the assault mode set here okay that's a very very long v-neck and then there's a bunch of separate wigs here we got zeldris wig very shiny hair meliotis wig estarosa wig and then we got gloxneo wings which these wings are actually pretty damn cool looking i'm not gonna lie all right so now we are finally moving on to the marvel stuff one of the things everyone wants to see including the minecraft stuff let's just look at the minecraft stuff real quick oh look at that can't wait to get to that all right let's do the marvel stuff though which you know some of this stuff would have been very nice to have during that uh video where i tried to create the avengers in terraria but the whole point of that video was to not use mods and do it but let's go ahead let's check out our first outfit here the captain america one even comes with a shield which is amazing now this this is a dope vanity i like this a lot this is the og captain america and i love it i might might use this mod in future mod packs you know i do want to include more costume mods in future mod packs so i can get some some cool looking outfits on and stuff like that next up we got the iron man costume very very nice no thrusters or booster wings of any sort which is kind of upsetting but makes sense that, that might be a little bit hard to you know sprite and make next up we got war machine he's got his little mini gun that you can barely see uh, i wish it stuck out a little bit more because it just looks like he has like a little nose sticking out or whatever the fuck that is <laughs> looks like a beak but yeah war machine also very cool last but not least i think fury forge actually asked if a thanos costume can be put into this mod because if you guys don't remember one of fury forge's video when he assembled one of the infinity gauntlets from i think it was elements awoken he uh, had the thanos outfit to go along with it and here we go we got thanos and of course of course i gotta use the gauntlet come on so also there's a couple more things in the mod like the tesseract as you can see he's got a really cool animation tesseract also from the mcu and marvel very very cool if you break it also has that really cool effect that the perfect sphere had and also there is the space stone and the power stone those are the only two stones though there's no mind stone time stone there's none of that the power stone actually can be used as you can see here that's very very cool the space stone on the other hand is just a magic mirror which is also very very cool now i gotta walk back so we're gonna go into one more thing here before we hop into the finale we've all been waiting for and that's the minecraft stuff we're gonna check out how to actually craft some of these things you're gonna need two things to craft stuff and that is the costume creator and the like more upgraded costume creator the one that has spoilers meaning that crafting this you know there might be spoilers for the movie for the show for the game whatever and then there's also this right here this base wig which is used to craft a bunch of the wigs these costume creators are pretty much used to create the costumes as, as the name implies it is the time that we have all been waiting for it's time to put on some of these minecraft heads now we know that there is indeed a minecraft vanity slash costume in terraria and it is the creeper oh man no 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 no, no. don't start none of that i know you guys are gonna leave it in the comments anyway i'm fine with that go ahead and do that that's like that's like plus 100 to the algorithm minecraft is in the algorithm so i'm fine with you guys leaving that comment yeah let's go ahead and start with wait a minute this isn't a part of the mod starting with the steve head that is very uncanny i do not like that that's it's creepy how it looks next up we got the zombie head a little bit better than the steve head spider head looks cool cave spider head also looks cool skeleton head beautiful i, I i'm gonna like all these heads i think even the steve one even though it looks weird i, I think i'm gonna like all of them no matter how weird they look next up we got the wither the wither translates really well to 2d next we got the drowned also very cool looking we got the beta enderman which is what the Endermen look like in the beta, I believe. And then we got the, you know, the final Endermen, what they look like today. We got the Ghast, Guardian. Oh man, this one looks really cool. Elder Guardian also looks really cool. A little bit bright though. I can barely see some of its features. We got the Stray and the Husk, you know, some of the newer mobs. And then we got the Wither. And then we got the Three-Headed Wither. Now this, this is pretty damn cool. I like this a lot. All right, we got our last couple of masks slash helmets here. And, uh, you know, 
these ones are the cooler ones, the more unique ones that I save. Some of them I don't even know what they what the hell they're referencing. Starting with the giant ghast head, I guess it does say what they're referencing. Origin Minecraft Story Mode. Apparently, there's a giant ghast in Minecraft Story Mode. Never would have known because I did not play that or watch any videos about it. Next, we got the icy Ender Creeper, which is also from the Story Mode. There's a lot of cool stuff in the Story Mode. Creeper Head, which I'm assuming is a Spider Creeper, also from Minecraft Story Mode. Prison Zombie Head, obviously, also from Minecraft Story Mode. And then the Wither Storm Head, which I do know the Wither Storm, so that one is very cool. I kind of wish it was like the actual Wither one, and we could have the other heads. Next, we got the Hooded Herobrine, 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 however you want to pronounce it. We got this one, which is from Fallen Kingdom. Who doesn't love Fallen Kingdom? And then we got the regular Herobrine Head, which uh, you know looks like the Steve one, but white eyes, obviously. And last but not least, we got Captain Sparkles, the man, the myth himself. All right, you can play it for the one time. Creeper. Wait, no, 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 don't, don't play it, actually. I don't want to get copyright struck. But yeah, that was the More Costumes and Vanities mod, a very, very cool mod that I think I'm going to add this in, including the Mask Shop mod. There's a bunch of mods that add in a bunch of vanities. And I kind of want to add them in for future mod packs because I feel like it's just cool to have, you know, lots of outfits to choose from and dress up for, you know, especially if you're a type of person that likes to role play a lot in your games, then go ahead and do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, thank you for 100K subs. And I do want to do a room tour slash setup guide soon uh but let me like let me like clean my room a little bit more my room it's not that messy it's a little bit messy though but yeah expect that soon i think i'll just i don't know either it'll be like its own video or i'll attach it to the end of another video much like i attached some unboxing footage at the end of that uh t mod loader installation but yeah hope you guys enjoyed love you hit the sub button uh follow my twitch follow my twitter join my discord sub sub to my second youtube channel do all that thank you bye bye love you